one point that we didn't make earlier that I wanted to uh, make mention of. We've been talking about VTEPs, VXLAN tunnel mm -hmm. endpoints. That's a hardware thing if you want to do this at scale. That mm -hmm. is, you need a switch that can do that, which I don't yep. know that that's much of an issue with a modern data center switch, but it, it used to be. And if you've got something oh, yeah. old kicking around and you think you're just going to do a, a NOS upgrade and now you've got um, um, VXLAN and EVPN, uh, not as simple as that. No, no. No, uh, any switch made in the last like five years uh, is going to be able to route VXLAN. Um, some of the older switch, some of the really old switches don't not, don't even know about VXLAN. Yeah. They can't decap or incap. Um, the first generation of switches that had VXLAN capability could only bridge. So they could either take a packet and encapsulate it, or they could take a packet and decapsulate it, but they couldn't do both unless you recirculated the packet to go through the ASIC pipeline twice, and that would yeah. reduce your bandwidth substantially. But yes. anything modern, like um, any of the um, any of the like the Nexus nine thousand EX FX FX two FX three anything with a Trident two plus Trident mm -hmm. three or Trident four anything with a Tomahawk or or Jericho I, I can't remember which ones do one but most of them most of the, anything anything twenty five gig so if it's like a twenty five gig or hundred gig probably can route VXLAN. Mm -hmm. If it's 10 gig or 40 gig only, then you might want to check. 